Hi, Joe for Exhibition News. Here's your weekly news roundup. Closer still, the AEO, RX and Hive Group were among the UK businesses who attended the Great Futures trade mission to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia last week. The trade mission, led by Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden, in partnership with the Saudi government, kicked off a year-long campaign to drive business engagement between the UK and Saudi Arabia. Farnborough International has invested £1 million in solar panels on the roof of its exhibition and conference centre as part of its plan to reach net zero. The panels, installed by Empower Energy, cover the equivalent of 29 tennis courts across the roof of Hall 1. Following further instalment of the technology, the venue says it will be able to generate 30% of its annual electricity needs via solar power. Times Higher Education has agreed to acquire the Education World Forum, a three-day event which took place this week at London's QE2 Centre. The deal will see the 20-year-old government-backed summit become part of the Times Higher Education stable of over 150 annual events. Ian Taylor, Managing Director of the Exhibitions at the NEC, has been appointed Chair of the Association of Event Venues. Taylor, the former Vice Chair, takes over from Sean Hines, the departing CEO of Manchester Central, who has stepped down from the AEV after 18 months in the role. Modular stand builder B Matrix has expanded with a new experience showroom and a bigger warehouse in the UK. Last Friday marched the showroom opening with around 100 attendees gathering to cut the ribbon. That's all for this week. Click the links below to find out more.